Hey guys, at the Mirage again, uh, waiting for for Above and Beyond to show up at four o'clock when the doors open. Um, I left the house at three a.m. to beat the morning traffic. It worked out. Uh, now just chilling in the car, and uh, I fell asleep in the car. Actually, I found a nice spot that I had my eyes on the first time I came here. Uh, it's it's in fact. Let me show you. Hold on. This is the spot to be in <laughs> if you're here. <laughs> so this is. So if you ever make it out to the Mirage, that's the spot to be in, man. Just got the AC running full blast because it's freaking hot. So uh, yeah, just hanging out here. Got my uh, Silver Dragon with me. Uh, so yeah. Um, I saw Above and Beyond here about a month or two ago now, and they decided to come back, so I'm coming back too. Um, I have my, hold on, I brought the customary Brooklyn Mirage fan with me. So I'm gonna do a little fan dancing while I'm out there. While I'm, while, while I'm out there on the dance floor and uh, just gonna get loaded with coffee and try not to smoke too much while I'm there. Um, lunch and dinner, uh, probably gonna stay local here. I am not moving from this freaking spot, man. This I'm staying right here. No moving. <laughs> Unless a cop tells me I have to move, I ain't moving from this spot. This spot is mine, to, and it is here to stay with this Chevy Cruze. So, uh, yeah, just chilling out here. Uh, yeah. Just chilling out, relaxing, and... Uh, yeah, probably gonna put put some Spotify on and just chill with some music, check the news. Uh, I can confirm one thing: the house, the house is uh, on its way to being sold. So um, that's been an issue for a while. We didn't know whether it would be sold or not. I know that's uh, off topic here. It's not really related to my parking spot, but uh, yeah. So. Um, gonna have to find new residents soon uh, yeah that's that I guess that's about it for me just working and um, trying to keep my act together and not uh, panic or end up uh, flipping out um, some good some bad but uh, mostly mostly a lot of um, um, planning and preparation for the house being sold um as for as for like today immediately the uh above and beyond show is going to be great it's going to be great it's going to be a lot of fun um last time i got kind of fondled and by girls so hey no complaints here <laughs> no complaints here um i had i had a good time it was a lot of love there and um uh, you know um i'm looking forward to it again so you got me and uh, you know um, I, uh, I hope I hope they play some of their older stuff I doubt they will I I, I, I don't know if they still have um, license to it I hope they do because some of that music is epic sirens of the sea and and all the older stuff is what got me into Above and Beyond all those years ago. Um, the the new stuff's great too. It, it definitely has an emotional connection with me, but the older stuff is really what romanticized Above and Beyond for me. Um, so this is the second time I'm seeing Above and Beyond and I'm, I'm, really, uh, I'm really happy that uh, I get to spend more time at the Mirage here. Brooklyn Mirage and uh, just uh, get to chill 
and dance for a little bit. So, yeah, beautiful day on Messerol Street. Uh, as far as I can see, I'm the only one here. So, you know. Just got a couple of stragglers driving by, but uh, you won't see a turnout till, till the doors start to, to open like three or, you know, two, three or four, you know. All right. So this is Sean checking out. See you around.